mic's on. I said the mic's on. Why is that mic not facing you? It is. It is directional. You're coming through like a at the volume. Oh, I like that I can actually be heard now. What do you mean be heard? Because when I was using that mic, I was always lower than you and Aaron. Where's the volume? Can you hear? No. Can you hear now? Can I? I can hear myself now. I can hear myself now. Nah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Who's that? Storm. It's what? Wait. Welcome to the podcast. What's the need for covering the microphone? It make it more intensified. <laughs> Maybe Axe. Get out. Max. He said perfect timing. Just got home. Nice. I, I knew that. That's why I, I, I dragged it out. As, I, I went to go fake a shit. <laughs> Apparently, according to Linda, I went to go a fake shit. a shit just to he buy time. I yeah. said, I know maybe Axe. He's going to be home just around the 5 o'clock mark. I said, right. you know what? Let me just pretend I was sitting on it with the lid closed. Go, you know what? I'm going to watch a film, a flick on YouTube. There's a reason we think you were faking. Where's your proof? Where's the proof that you took a shit? There is no proof. <laughs> then he didn't take a shit. Guys. I'm saying, listen, all right, members he of the jury. He was pushing this podcast. I can stream it next time. Ma- please do. All right, I'll stream my shit next time. Oh, God, it's scared can to I start. start? Yeah. yeah, apparently I got to stream my shit. Just a quick, you do. Just a quick thing. <laughs> Just a quick thing. Do you know roughly how many men are going to be at the party tonight? Men? Men. Why does men. that matter? Why? Just, I'm getting prices for food. Many more usually than women. Asshole. <laughs> I can't. What if all the women are obese? You calling me fat? It's like half and half, honestly. Yeah, like really. Oh, yeah, it's like half and half. Just I'm it. offended. Because everyone's in couples. Does, 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 does that affect the price? No, it's really annoying. It's just it better why not. You, why are we at the hospital? Say it's all women then. It's all women. Um, he was playing chauffeur. We always do what? Hello, we're back. Oh. He was playing chauffeur for his parents, if I'm not mistaken. We... We were having technical difficulties. We were interrupted. Up at 6.30, hospital at 9.30, just walked in. Well, we appreciate you. Well, welcome. Yeah, greatly appreciate that. Busy day, you still have time to pop in. Love it. Marksman. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How, How are we all doing? What do you think of the music? Something about a red blanket? Uh, no, what do you think <laughs> of the Oh, like, my. <laughs> not what is it saying. <laughs> not... <laughs> It's all right. What are the lyrics? <laughs> Aaron, right. cho- Aaron chose playlist today. I just put rap caviar, whatever goes it's on, right. goes on. It's all right. Not my, my, not my cup of tea. It's all right. <laughs> you don't drink tea. It's all right. It's all right. All right. <laughs> so can I, can I now say that the sun does shine on a dog's ass? What? Sometimes. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the sun does shine on a dog's ass sometimes. Is that how the saying goes? I don't know. I'm, if it is a saying, I've never heard the saying in my life. I've never heard that in my life. So, hey, Twix, rapping my man thing, right eh? there. That's my man right there. Music or gifts? Uh, rapping, <laughs> uh, rap, no, rap like tortilla. That's what it is. It's got to It's got. The sun's got to shine on the dog's ass someday. You've never heard that saying? It's never. in fucking movies, man. Never. No, I never heard <laughs> it. Oh fuck! Get a clue. Listen. Uh, now, the reason I say that. There's been a few times. Over here we have Tim Hortons, and over there in the States they have DD. Harud. Uh, this might be important. Harud. Leave you hanging. It's not Herud. important. So, occasionally when I go through the drive through you know. <laughs> How's a <the> heel? <laughs> uh, he'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> so. Occasionally, I go through the drive-thru, and already when they give me the amount, I can already assume my change. So I know if it's a toonie, a loonie. See, we don't use paper here in Canada. Everything's coins. We're going backwards. So we have a toonie uh, coin, a loonie coin, and quarters and dimes and nickels. You guys know. 
So, occasionally through the drive thru, we got to watch no out pennies. for this shit. No pennies anymore. Yeah, we got rid of pennies. Yeah. It was too many for these millennials to count. So, so <laughs> too much um, for us to count, too much for you to say. So, occasionally I drive away, whatever, whatever, and it's a fucking fake loony. It's not a, it was not fake currency, it's just a fake loony. So, what they do is they give me a fucking um, like a, a, a peso. Cuban, like a peso or whatever, or yeah. something from a different country. We go to look up the currency, it's like three cents Canadian. Like, motherfucker, they faked me out a loony. So, that person doing the drive through pocketed a loony. So, the Tim Hortons here is very, very busy, like extremely busy. Line up like there's no tomorrow. It's as if they put cocaine in their fucking coffee. So, you figure, if you, let's say you do it to every 10th customer, you're pocketing a little fortune there. So, I get upset, whatever, whatever. And there's certain Tim Hortons I won't go to because I've already memorized which ones scam you. So, I don't even go to those Tim Hortons anymore. So, the other day, I think it's karma and I got my money back. Because I don't think I've been ripped off 15 times. There's been a couple times. There's a co- I saved them in my drawer, the, the the fake coins. So the other day, Wednesday, I was going to meet up with Aaron. I go, you want a coffee? I actually didn't even ask him if I wanted a coffee. I said, you know what? I'll meet him, and I'll bring him a coffee. So I go to Tim Hortons that I normally go to, and I go up to the kid. I go, I need two large coffees, double-double with milk. Two coffees at two bucks is four bucks, plus taxes. So then he rings me up. It's 5.58. I'm there. How the fuck did the coffee go to 5.58? And I'm thinking this as I'm handing him a $20 bill. He makes my change for the $20 bill. And he closed the till. I go, buddy, give me the receipt, please. So he prints out the receipt. He goes over to the side to start making the coffee. I look at the receipt. I said, did I ask for a fucking cookie? You charged me for a fucking cookie. I like, are you aware of what you're doing? When do you, did you right when I came up to five fifty eight? did you not know two coffees don't cost five fifty eight? Did you just cash that on your own? No, 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 okay. I'll, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. So the best thing for him to do, and I agree, is to cancel the order and just refund and start from scratch. I agree. But then you got to explain to the manager this and that, the till, the cookie, where to go, where the dollar. Okay, fine. Just cancel, do the refund. So he took the change back, put it in the till, gave me my 20 back. I, me, I've worked in a donut shop before in my teens. I would not have returned the 20 because I know he gave me a 20. So he returned it and said, you know what, to start from scratch. I agree with that. He didn't say it. I just thought it. Okay, fine. So I, I'm on the counter. I put the 20 by my keys. I had the keys on the counter. But there's the donation boxes and everything blocking it. And he rings up strategy, the two coffees. Strategy, strategy. No, people. it wasn't It wasn't intentional. It was just the way it happened. You are so white, Linda. Jesus, fuck. So that's what she says. Welcome to the podcast. Okay, so. Oh, it all makes sense now. To you or to me? To everyone. Not to everyone. To everyone. So let me get back to my story. So the guy rings up the two coffees. It comes. It comes out to four fourteen. I said, "Does that not make sense now? Two coffees. Like, how did you not catch that? Are you here today? <laughs> like, fuck, man. You're here physically, but your mind's still in bed sleeping. So, I'm about to grab the twenty, and he hands me change. I didn't say nothing. And you know, ironically, it's still the same change that he gave me for the five fifty eight. Are you serious? Yeah, it was the same you amount. Left, you left that out from the story yesterday. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. It was the exact change from 558. I'm there. You got to be fucking kidding me. But I'm not going to say nothing. Shh. So I took the change, put it in my pocket. And no, he made it wasn't. Me the coffees. No, it wasn't. He actually gave me the right change? It g- he gave you the change for two coffees because when you showed me the change, it was a uh, it was a 10 and a 5. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, that's right. My bad. So he gave me the change for the right amount, 414 plus, you know, the change. Am I, am I peaking? Are you. Am I peaking? Medically no. or physically? No, he oh, is. Oh, medically. No. So. Okay, that's, that's him? <laughs> it's him. Okay, I thought I was a little bit peaking. What? I felt... I'm hitting the red? That mic never peaks. So. Oh, okay. Solid. Check this out. So. Is it internally gated? <laughs> so I took the change, put it in my pocket, didn't say nothing. He made the coffees, right? He handed me the coffees. Sir, I apologize. I grabbed the keys, crumpled the 20, put it in my pocket. He slipped like that. So Karma's a bitch. I actually walked out. I walked out from Tim Hortons. With the money. Then say nothing. Don't give a flying fuck. It pays for all those times with the fucking fake loonies. This so, mic smells like laundry. A bitch. Yes, hun. Something's wrong. No, no, no. Nothing's wrong at all. Nothing. Speaking to the mic because I can't hear you. I don't need to hear you. What's up? No, he can't hear you. Why, boy? He was giving me a suggestion about the chicken feet back from the eight. Yeah. He go, he go on to that. It's just like one person getting a piece of a wing. One or four. Yes. Yes. So he was suggesting you get seven. 
Who is this again? St. Matthew's. Saying seven, but there's still the pasta there. That's the thing. Yeah, that's like a more pasta. So, but that's like, you know, maybe you might want to have a little more chicken. I'll always take like three. I know. I'll, yeah, I'll start off always with three pieces of chicken. And then there's, there's people that don't take no chicken at all. And then they think, oh, that's the thing. There's people that won't take it. Maybe yeah. you shouldn't take it. You know what I mean? Because then they think, well, now my food is spoiled. All right. It's okay. not bad. The price that he gave me for more chicken and more filet, I'm not crazy. Ooh, yeah. filet. So what is it? Ooh, so filet. So what did you order? Steaks, filet, and no steak, just chicken? chicken the, the same thing. Yeah. <coughs> okay, chicken. Okay. Uh, oh, you got to order some from me, Viax, as well. Okay. <laughs> You're in, bro. Yeah, bro. Okay. And then extra <laughs> Dad, <laughs> stop. With salad or no salad? With That's salad? Fine. Potatoes, rice, chicken, and, and fish? And filet and salad. That's honestly not the bad salad at all. alone does tell cost... Him, tell him I'll give him... Tell him I'll give yeah. him... Ne- tell him I'll give him an extra 50 bucks if somebody goes there to serve. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, they no, can be behind no. the table serving people. No, no, no. Buffet. Buffet style. Yeah. Buffet style. You I'm kidding. I'm not paying for that shit. You want Buffett Serve style, yourself. bro? You want Buffett style, man? It's just a joke. Okay. A Buffett. So you want Jimmy Buffett style, what? bro? What, what? man? Solid. I'll be there at 11.01. No, like like nah, go 10.59. Go 10.59. They won't be ready. They'll be cooking. Exactly. And then, and then complain that it's not ready. Place the order. Tell them eleven o'clock. Yeah, tell them be ready for eleven. Cold. No, I'm, It'll, I'll, I'm gonna put everything in the oven. Are you? I'm yeah. Get everything in the oven. Okay, so we're doing it. Pick up at eleven. Why are you putting it in the oven? Put it in the fridge. Don't you want to mm-hmm. use those uh, heating trays? I don't have heating trays. Can we call Diana? Ooh. Your dad, maybe? Huh? You Diana, like the one who makes the sauce? We no, Otavio's daughter. Why would Diana have heating trays? Because it belongs to fucking Amigos Amigo. I'm pretty sure Otavio didn't get rid of it. It's all in storage somewhere. Oh, it belongs to them, not yeah. to the club? Yeah. Oh, it belongs to them. The oh, chairs, okay. the table, everything. I said if I call to your dad, maybe, or Sedalia. Yeah. And then talk to them about getting Can the Can we show. borrow them or rent them? Because we can have the food out there, turn on the, the heaters, good to go. Get get Matthew to talk to Diana, considering, like, Diana used to love to flirt with him. <laughs> okay. No, but I think I'll <laughs> I can ask. Yeah, I'll put it in the oven. And I have two ovens. I have the oven upstairs and I have the oven downstairs. <laughs> if the oven upstairs even works. Hasn't been used in four years. It's fine. Okay, All right. So we're going to do it, right? Just yeah. Need to know. Okay, so I spoke to Ricardo, the owner. Because then tomorrow before work, I'll call the other place and say we don't need it anymore. Mm-hmm. Or even tonight. Oh, you can't put it tonight. I don't, I How don't much was the quote? Open. For then, it was only $25. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't do salad. And it's only 5 Yeah, the salad's not worth 125 bucks. But no. the salad is expensive. How much is the salad from them? 50 bucks. For shredded lettuce. It was only five chickens and only 20 filet. And no salad. And how much is the Italian stuff? Shit, I forgot to ask Nick to confirm how much it was. I didn't ask him. I forgot to ask him. I'll ask him again. No more than 50 bucks. How did she get pasta. a 225 quote? We're going to 400 dollars quote. They, you, that quote has seven chickens. How many did you get? Five. So no two extra chickens. It's not for and the salad filet. and sa- more filet. I got. I asked for twenty. She asked for thirty. Ten. Okay. And I didn't ask for salad. Salad from Shushkitas are expensive. I gotcha. Don't know why they're so expensive? That concludes or confirms why the price jumped. Yeah, it's that's fine. So we're, we're gonna be eating chicken and, and filet for a couple days. Yeah, fucking everyone's taking things home. No, they're not. I'm not paying for feed other people. I'm taking everything home. I was split half 50 me, 50 you. That's it. That's it. No, I'm being fucking dead serious. Okay. No. I'm being dead fucking serious. Listen, we got we work our asses off. Yeah. We have fucking big families to feed. No. Okay, hold on. But even if I was going to buy the food, I was still going to get to-go containers so people could take a little bit home. It's a lot to store, and you're not going to eat all of it. It'll go bad, especially chicken. Then you take whatever you want. I'll take the rest. <laughs> For fuck's I got sake. free. I got two freezers in thing. I'll bring them down here. Oh, my God. Okay. Fuck that shit. I said yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay. I said yeah. Okay, I'll cancel the other one. Uh, maybe X wants you to send him a whole chicken via UPS. Okay, I can do Alive? that. Alive? Alive? Oh, yeah, There's chickens across the street. Yeah. <laughs> Bring them inside box. 
Oh, it'd be funny if I go across you right now, grab a chicken by the neck, and bring it in here. And go. No, 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 no,
Prime. Yeah. Oh, premium. Oh, premium. premium. Sorry. You're not s- speaking to the mic, man. <laughs> then next up. Ep- <laughs> I know, seriously. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Back hey, in 2016. If it's only five in the beginning and the rest of the video is playing normal, I'm okay with that. No. Back in 2016, there were no ads. Okay? Then it became an ad before your video. Now it's video between ads. Maybe X is like, don't worry, we can still yeah, hear him. We're watching ads and there's the occasional video. Occasional video clips. Maybe X said, don't worry, we can still hear him. So, yeah, because he. Yeah. He's like this! <laughs> and not even through the headphones or the fucking PC, he can hear me through his window of his house. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so, European. Let me, let me, let me, let me touch on what I wanted wow, to touch this on. this is crooked. I'm actually always rolling backwards. Yeah, no, this is fucking. When you I need so, sponsor, I need a new floor. <laughs> when you first set up the camera, the laptop in the frame was like this. So this table is like this. Yeah, no, it is. You Would you look it. at that? You can see it. Yeah. Looky, looky. So, okay. Yeah, look, the cracks on the floor are getting bigger and bigger. Okay, let's okay, let's talk. Okay, so. Let's talk business. The, let's, good. Get, let's get down to business. The challenge. I think, I think there's too much weight. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. What the, the challenge. Fuck? I have a question about the challenge. Challenge. Okay, so, so far, the only rules that have been in place. You need your fucking headphones on, too, man. He can hear me without the headphones. No, I'm talking to... He just needs it in general. What? I don't like this. I want to change this. (laughs) All right, the new 90s rap. Or no, 2000s. 2000s. I have a question for the comedian. Uh, Uh, 2000 rap bangers. Let's go. I see that. Did he fucking join the stream? Oh, there's a chicken. He did, because I'm like this. Okay, sorry, I came back in. I had one in the garage, whatever. He's like, and he's like, I'm in the garage. I'm like, they're doing a podcast. Shut up. He what? came in. Yeah, yeah he, he came in. He goes, he goes well, I got, you're going to stay on the phone with me now. This is hilarious. I'm going to go find them. I'm like, okay. So I told him, we if bought- you give us a discount, I can always plug in. I can sponsor. He goes, he goes remember. This is good. I get a plug. I'm like, yep, I heard him say it. So, we have a big brown... Maybe, yeah, you want your chicken? Here, get in the, get in the, get in the screen here. Oh, I've got a chicken. It's real. It's real. Yeah, it better not peck me. I shit you fucking no, not. she won't. Can you make it, can you make it go like back? Yeah. Go. Pull it, pull it, stay away. Let's go, talk. Pull it, sing. Where for no, you to No, 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 because it might get mad. Speak. Speak. No, it won't. <laughs> they're, they're pretty friendly. They're friendly. Come on. So, there is Notice how, kid. hey, move it around. Move it around. Uh, it's, it's, very glossy. it's head doesn't move. Mm. Yeah, it's on, a, it's on a gyro. It's on a what gyro. The f- <laughs> that shit's dope. I want one. She's like, what's going on? Why am I over here? It has no idea where it is. Huh? Why are you over here? Why does it smell like Slaughterhouse? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it smells like my demise. Oh. She's tripping. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want it. I don't like it. Vanessa. Okay, go, go. Okay. go. I don't like it. Okay, Oops, now we're going to the chicken show. She got scared already. Welcome back to the chicken show. Okay, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> so so far, the only rules that have Maybe been in place. Maybe I said fucking shit. <laughs> he said, buck book, motherfucker. <laughs> buck, buck book. <laughs> Liz is tripping out. Liz yeah, tripping I don't, out. I don't, I don't. Like oh, but Liz it was? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> See? But this just got so scared, you missed it. We, I'm uh, like, to grab its neck. And then it flinched, and she's like, Whoa! We, you ask, we provide! Yeah, there's a chicken. Oh, on this one's right. now. Is this her first pod- co- podcast cameo, says yeah. Maybe X? Yeah. It doesn't have a snout, it has a beak. First podcast cameo. There you go. Oh, Lord, I'm okay, mercy. Let's go. She's one of the bigger ones. So no. Let's go. Let it loose. So, what's the guy's name? I don't want to grab her! What's the guy's name? Ricardo. 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 Shout out to you, homie. Shout out. <laughs> He's providing, um,. Nourishment Let it loose. to a, an event. To a, an event. <laughs> to a, an event <laughs> that we need to attend next week. Let it loose. I'm not going to say what the event is, but he is uh, providing the nourishment for this event. I'm doing my bar mitzvah. <laughs> He's finally going to get clipped. Listen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and what does he run? What's the name of the establishment? <laughs> he runs forwards. Huh? 
St. Matthew's. St. Matthew's Churrasquera. St. Matthew's Churrasquera. <laughs> <laughs> and grill. St. Churrasquera. St. Matthew's. St. Matthew's Churrasquera. St. Churrasquera. St. Matthew's Churrasquera. No radio ao vivo! You get your chicken, your bacalao. Lembra? Eu não gosto do Facebook. You get your galena and your bacala. Fresh galenas. <laughs> Fresh galenas. Killed today, bacalao. It's a chaikin. <laughs> galenas. It's a live chaikin. <clears throat> Bodegos. Joaquim. Oh! Tell my wife to bring the Camaro. What? She didn't hear that. So, back to what I was saying. The only rules that are in place right now for this for this challenge is it has to be the length of the intro, and there can't be uh, there can't be um, like 15, 20 seconds of just like. I'm uh, need. Uh, That's uh. right. No shit. Obviously. However. 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 You cannot fill it with multiple repeats of a word either. No fucking shit. You don't have to tell me this. Let me ask my question. So. Is it an option? Is it an option for me to make the challenge a little bit longer, <laughs> but yeah. add like add other topics? No, no, it no. It has to be, be about the queen. That's it. That's, That's it. it. You it. said to pick a current event. Okay. The current event was the queen's death. Actually, no. I said pick a topic. No, you said a current event. You said. Hey, we um, can rewind this shit. Yeah. Okay. You said. You I said. Don't uh, what I said. You said in a uh, uh, um. Significant a historic, event? a significant event in history. That's what you said. Okay. So Dad said the Queen's death. So then this isn't about the Queen. This it's is about, about the you. Queen's death. It's all about you, dude. No, but this isn't <laughs> about the Queen. This is about the Queen's death. Well, no, Dad specified it can be about it, the but Queen, the history, but, her, but what, what led up to her death? What yeah, her life leading up to death? Like it's just about the Queen. It's about the Queen. Okay. He's got to rewrite his song now. He hasn't even, he has even started. Bullshit. No, he that calls, didn't help at all. My he eyes calls are so bull. Up. What's the challenge? I'm lost. Okay, so basically, get Amy out! Followed. Let's go! This Thank is... you so much for the follow. Thank Ricardo! Thank you Ricardo! for following, because I like seeing the dinosaur do this. <laughs> <laughs> Mucho gracias, señor. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Wrong language. Love it, love it, love it. The Portuguese community is coming in. I love it, love it, love it, love Thank it. Thank you, homie. So we're giving you a, a plug. Yes. We already shout out yes. St. Matthew Shushkeda. Which queen? The no, queen no, Churrasquera. Churrasquera and Grill. And Grill. Thank the, you so much. The, okay, so the challenge is that I have to write. <gasps> I have to write. This does go on YouTube as well, just so you know. What? Nothing. I have to write. Oh, now I got to go there and eat. I gotta, I'm gotta. i assuming it's a restaurant. Here, we'll give a quick shout out if you, anybody wants to give some love. That's uh, the Discord. I don't know if he has Instagram or Facebook. The link tree. I have to write well, a minute long track. Well, the link tree is all there. Yeah, Whatever you want to support, but I appreciate your follow. We appreciate your follow. Thank you so much. Yeah, awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Again, I could put your name on the top of the screen. Yeah, we can put, we can actually set it as an overlay. If yeah. you have a logo you want to send to us. Yeah, I can, I can probably take the logo You off. can send us the logo and we can plug it in as an overlay and yeah. it can like fade in and fade out. We can animate it. It'll look yeah. real nice, real nice. I can have your shit running in the background. You know. Real nice, real nice. That'd be nice. Joke went There's right over his head. Floating. It was a loop hill. <laughs> what? Maybe I said joke went right over his head. It was a loophole, Aaron. I don't get it. I'm confused. I have a sneeze coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Right, start, start reading it so you know what, what he's talking about. Uh, oh, all these words are slang for th for men's nuts. Uh, which queen though? Hmm. Okay, so queen Elizabeth, <laughs> one that just died. How many died? Books. To every queen before her. <laughs> <laughs> no, the most, he said current events. <laughs> we're not, yeah, like, we're not living in 1920. <laughs> to answer Twix's When did she question? become queen? When did she become queen? I don't fucking know. When? I don't know. Oh, my God. He's doing research on this shit. I don't know. I think it was 1920 when she became queen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't it was know. before the, the war? It yeah. was. Okay, so Twix, what's happening for this challenge? Or she was born challenge? in 1920. No. On the fifth episode. I think episode, she became queen in the 40s. On the she fifth. She wasn't born in 1920. She was 96 when she died. On the on the fifth episode of the podcast, we challenged Aaron that he has to write a rap because we were talking about music and like no, what types that's of music not how that went. Good. That's not how that went. We were listening to different styles of music. And he said, oh, it's so easy to write a rap. That's what he said. Go ahead. 
in short, Aaron has to write a rap to an instrumental. Intro. The No, I thought Aaron could pick a song, an you, instrumental. We're starting from the beginning of the, the conversation, so he knows, so he knows. It has to be the length of our intro that we do for Straight Shooter, but he can choose an instrumental and rap to it about the queen. June 2nd, 1953, at 25 years old is when yeah. she became queen. Yeah. Hey, no, you shouldn't have sent that. That's helping Aaron. Okay. Nobody said I couldn't get help. <laughs> that wasn't uh, a part of the stipulations. No, 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 no. Realistically, no. nobody said I couldn't get help. No, we no, no. Then we're we telling didn't. you now. <laughs> no, fuck. No, 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 Can't get no. Help. No, it's no. Fuck off. Who no. Are you, who are you Neither contacting? Neither looking for loophole. Neither looking for loophole. Who are you contacting for assistance? I haven't contacted anybody. But like the like, why then is it okay. that? It's okay. Then you're doing fine. So oh. hang on a second, marksman. Hang on a second. This is where Aaron said it sounds easy because we we were watching a rap. Okay, he suggested a song. We were King, watching it. King Von Crazy Story Part Three. And it, you know, I, I'm walking along the road, going to the store to buy a bag of milk. Okay, but it wasn't and, that. You know what I mean? Like, it, play it, that fucking song again, and you're gonna tell me it's that simple? He's just telling a story to a beat. He goes, "Oh, it's easy to do. It's easy to do." Said, okay, pick a current event, blah blah blah, and that's what we did. That's what happened. We were discussing music and comparing styles of music, and like we were comparing rock to rap, and like we were we were comparing music and talking about today's singers don't know how to sing or lyrically they don't know how to write lyrics. There was multiple things we touched on because we were saying that like writing the music in general, yes, it's a it's an art. It's Damn. not easy. It's not easy to rhyme every other Did every we... other line. It's not like. Some words are diff more difficult to rhyme with each other. Like, it, it is hard. Like, no one's taking that away. What? We need another computer because I could be looking up that video on YouTube and then we can link Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Relax. Thank you. He's having a seizure. Thank you. Relax. What? Thank you. What? Relax. So the King Von, the King Von song that I showed you uh, when you gave me the challenge, yeah. you said it's bad. You said there's no there's no lyricism to it. You're just telling a story. Yeah. Okay. And, and Twix just says if you listen to the rhyme scheme of the song, it's a masterpiece. He didn't say rhyme, by the way. A rhythm scheme. Either way, he said it's a masterpiece. <clears throat> I don't. Know. Everyone has their own taste in music. Yeah. I'm not gonna argue about the taste of music. It's not, a, it's not a bad song. It's just whatever. It's not my shit. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. I did not vibe with that song. Yeah. But what I will say is. Writing lyrics in general is a skill. It is. Because there's different ways to to rhyme lyrics. There's different ways of... Rapping stories is way harder than just writing a song. Fuck no! No, they're the same. Writing, Fuck no! Writing, writing the words to whether it's a rap or a, 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 a fucking country song, it still takes time to put the lyrics together to say what you want the message to be. I'll be honest, I agree with Twix. No, you're still putting the lyrics together the same way. But you have to you have to tell the story, but make it rhyme, make it catchy. That's the same with regular music, but whether regular that's rock, music, whether that's country. But regular let me, okay, let me at least voice my opinion before you yell. Thanks. Anyways. That's what you were doing. Um, but cool, bro. Keep going. What I'm saying is, is if I'm going to write a song about something that has not happened, I'm just making the story up as I go, I can manipulate the story in itself to make it make sense, to make it catchy, so on and so forth. If I have to make something that already happened something different than, like, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but if I'm coming up with the story, it's completely fictional, I can make the story sound however I want it to sound. So pretend that the Queen's story is fictional. Dude, Hold saying? on. But it's not. No, no, but no. The, the, no that's not what I'm said, arguing. Pick a topic. No, no, no. That's not what I'm arguing. That's not, that's not what he's arguing. That's not what I'm arguing. But uh, what I'll say in response to you is that's the same for any other song that you write. If it's to rock, if it's to country, if it's to R and B, it's it's. You're still. You can manipulate that the same way. You still can. Yeah. It applies to. It applies to any genre of music. Whether, whether when you're taking those real. lyrics, whether it's fictional, whether it's real, when you're There's writing no that stuff, you manipulate it any way you want. Whether not, you want it to I'm be hundred percent true or like. I, I'm, not, words. I'm not. I'm not saying that rapping a story is harder than singing a story. But that's what Twix said. Then I misunderstood. Then I misunderstood. No, that no, that's not what he said. That's not what he said. He said rapping story is way harder than just writing a song. Meaning, rapping a story is a lot harder than just rapping the fucking rap. Like, like. I don't think that's bird. what. He, I don't think that's what he meant. Okay, what I think he meant. You're is, telling me you can't rap uh, Little Miss Muffet sat on the top. You can't rap that. 
No, that's not. It's okay. rapping a story. That's not, okay, but that's not what I'm talking about. It, I might not be seeing it the way that maybe X is seeing it. I might be seeing it a different way. But what I'm saying is writing a song to just write a song. Like, you know the song Broccoli by Lil Yachty? I can't remember. Hey, little oh, mama, yeah, yeah, would you? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. not a story. Do you know how fucking easy it is to write that song? Just you throw a bunch know, of lyrics together. You don't know how easy it was to write that song. It's going to take him two years to fucking write that yeah, song. No, you don't know no. that. No, I do know because he said it already. Listen, the song it takes two. The song it takes two. It I takes two to know. make a thing go right. I they wrote that song in two hours. And is it is it is it a real story? Hold on, Aaron. No, it's made up. Hold on, exactly. Aaron. Somebody Hold challenged on. him. Hold on. If a real event happens in my life, okay, my grandparents passing away within five months of each other, there have been moments where I'm sitting and something happened in my life and I'm like, oh my God, I just got hit with a wave of inspiration. I can write a song in an hour and it's done. But there's other situations. It could be another real life situation where I'm like, holy fuck, I'm stuck. I don't know how to word this. I don't know how to make this flow. But it could still be two real situations or it could be two fucking things I just made up. Yeah. Sometimes you can come up with it on the spot. Sometimes it takes you longer. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter what the fuck you're writing about. It could be just as hard to do it as a rap. It could be just as hard to do it as country. It could be just as hard to do it as wh whatever. Lyrics in general, for whatever style you're doing it to, whether it's a real story or a fake story, whatever the fuck, it's hard to do in general, but sometimes it just comes to you so fast. Some people have a natural knack for it, like Eminem or whatnot. But even natural Hang sometimes gets stuck, right? Let me, let me read this. That's why songs like snitching. No snitching. No snitching. Sorry, no snitching and, uh, and, and story. story are so good. It's all off the dome, meaning from the top of your head. Well, it's not, it's not freestyled. It's written. But that's the thing. Now, what I will say is freestyling is a fucking gift in itself because to make up shit that rhymes on the spot like that, I could never. It takes practice, of course, learning, you know, uh, synonyms, blah, blah, blah. Like, these rappers don't just fucking get born that way. They learn synonyms, um, um, a lot of verbs, shit like that, so they could be able to make things rhyme. It, it does take a little bit of studying this there's, shit. There's rappers out there that when they can't make something rhyme, they said that... If they you manipulate said, if, words. Yeah, they manipulate if, the words. And the does that a lot. Like orange, door hinge, syringe. Uh, maple hinge. <laughs> What's maple hinge? You make me cringe. Figure it out. It's uh, when, you, when, you, when you take the maple out of five trees but instead that's of four. The whole, that's the whole thing. That freestyling, I'll say, is it's... <clears throat> freestyling is an art. It's in its own category. You know, how fast, you know how fast your brain has to work for you to fucking... Whoa. Heather went off. That's what I just said. I was like, what the fuck? So before we read Heather's thing, I just want to end it on that. Yeah, free writing dollars, free dollars writing in general, notch. like coming up with lyrics, doesn't matter what you're putting the fucking lyrics to. It's like writing a book. You know what's funny? That's exact. That's perfect. Writing a book. It's like writing a book or a piece of a piece of Some books literature. Take a week. Other books it's take like a ten piece years. of literature. It's just that piece of literature, A, rhymes like a poem. And second of all, you put it to music, right? Any piece of literature can take time to write. Sometimes it's a week. Sometimes it's a year. So it takes, you know, it, it, it depends on you also your time in life. Are you clear-headed? Do you have a lot of stress going on in your life? Sometimes stress can cause blocks, blah, 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 blah. But the writing in general does not differ just because it's rap or because it's hip-hop. It doesn't matter. It could take the artist just as long, longer, depending on so many different factors. So Mrs. Sawyer says... I completely disagree. It doesn't matter what genre of music. Writing a song is an art form. It takes a certain talent to be able to put words together, make them make sense, make them flow whether they rhyme or not because songs don't always have to rhyme right. and have a point or meaning to them. Then there's a whole art of creating the beat around those words. It doesn't matter what comes first, the music, the music or the words, it's all an art in its own way. I write myself so I have a strong opinion on this. Dude, I've written, I've written songs and I've composed the music to the songs, so I get where you're coming from. I know exactly where this is coming from. Some of my songs are trash. I'll, I'll tell you that honest. right now. I'll be honest. I'm really confused on what Mrs. Sawyer was saying. <laughs> that it's art. It doesn't matter what it's for. doesn't matter where it's coming from. Music in itself is an art. Every part of it. It doesn't matter but where you start. It doesn't matter where it finishes. But nobody attested to that. So what are you disagreeing to? Your 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 thing is that music is an art regardless of what type of music it is. Nobody said otherwise, though. In the beginning of this conversation, you were defending rap as being a little more complicated. In but that's not what I meant. You misunderstood it. That's fine, but I think and that's And I've clarified more... that. But she was typing for a while, eh? Oh, yeah, eh? She was typing for a while, so eh? that's where it started. That's probably where it branched off of. 
Okay, but let me just make that clear is that I'm not saying that it's not art just if it's not rap. Like, like I don't only listen to fucking rap, dude. That's just a fact. Exactly. I listen like, to everything. It's just a fact. In itself, doesn't I matter. I have Katy Perry start- on my playlist. <laughs> some people start with the music. Some people start with the words. Sometimes people find it easier to get a feel for the music to know how they want to write the song, right? But some people are like, no, I want to start with the bones, which is the words, and then you add the meat and potatoes, which is the music, right? <laughs> Wait, what body part are your potatoes? <laughs> I know I the know. meat, but potatoes. It's the fat. <laughs> Ew. Some songs start off with a riff. They'll hear a, a guy riffing on a guitar in the background going, that riff is nice. And then during and that the session, song comes out. yeah, during that session of that riff, they'll add a bass line to it. The guy will start, you know, mumbling some words, trying to make sense with where the changes are. And then blah, 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 blah. And there's where the song came out. It wasn't pre-planned. It's just that song went well with that riff. It could be about yeah. any topic that the singer has at that moment. Yeah. You know, uh, my dog got hit by a car. He hears a riff in the background and the song just progresses oh my from God. there. Linda. Other songs, the lyrics are written first and then the beat has to go to it. I farted on my wife. Now, so, now, now, oh my now. god! So that's literally the perfect example because when me and Aaron were younger, my dad was—he must have—I think he was playing like a little bit of a blues riff on the yeah, guitar, dum, right? Dum, dum, so then Aaron dum, dum, had dum, farted dum, straight dum, up. Dum, Aaron had farted. Dum, dum, so dum, as my dad's playing the blues, Aaron just goes, "I farted on my wife," and then my dad goes, bow, bow, now, now, and it smelled really bad. bad. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. I didn't mean to kill her. <laughs> I remember that. And I do that for a long time. Boom, 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 but none boom. of it made sense. None yeah, of it made and sense. Since since then, Aaron and I, Aaron and I will periodically just turn to each other and be like, I farted on my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was funny. I did it to Danny and Fernando all the time in practice. What? Like Daniel will go, okay, <laughs> <my wife. laughs> uh, uh, dude, guys, I'm so sorry I'm late. Da, 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 da. The freaking traffic <laughs> on the highway was so bad. Da, <laughs> da, 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 da. I had so a coffee with at Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> I did it all the time. Uh, I started He's telling typing. us his day, and I just put the, the beat to it. Yeah. I started typing when I'm the combo started so about push, rap being different. So yeah, so it was when it started, like, at the very beginning. That's when she started typing. <laughs> and this whole thing started because... I don't like today's music. It's just it's just telling people their day. When back in the day, music was written with hidden messages. Everyone heard the song different. Or it's just, Play, oh, oh, it all, Shotty it all, got a fat ass. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. what is that? <laughs> Play Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar. Why? Why? And then tell me that music nowadays is just, uh, fat ass, my day was great, uh. Okay, not Play Swimming all, Pools by Kendrick Lamar. Not all artists. All. It's 90% of music that I'm you're naming but you're one fucking person but out of a hundred artists. But you're listening you're, because you're listening to everybody that's mainstream. Yeah. And you're listening to what's put on the everybody, fucking radio. That's because they don't care about lyricism on the radio. All they care about is what has a good beat, what has a hook that catches. That's all they care about. They don't care about lyricism because if you dig a little bit, if you listen to a, a couple of people and then branch from there, you'll see that there are a lot of people, like a lot of mainstream artists mm-hmm. nowadays that go underlying just because there's people at the top right now making music about I got the fattest because they all want club songs. <gasps> what? We're on Wi-Fi. Oh, <gasps> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we didn't even plug in the internet. Okay, get I'm going to touch on what Twix just said. So Twix said, I think one of the hardest things to do is rap or sing stories. That's where I stand. Now, I'm going to disagree with you based on everything we just talked about. But I'm also going to say I agree with you in the sense that if there is a song that means a lot to you, it's going to be harder to spit that out as opposed to Thank a song you. that doesn't. Is, like, that, that, doesn't is, that, is that Chicken Man that said that? Yeah. I love Ricardo. you, Chicken Man. That's Ricardo. What were you saying? Sorry. What were you saying? I don't know. It, it, whatever. I, I, uh, you were reading his comment about songs being uh, harder to write that their stories, regardless of whether it's rap it or means song. So, or, I'm just sending it that if it means something to you, it's obviously going to be harder to spit out. If the song has an emotional attachment to you, obviously it's going to be harder to spit out. Just How? smack him, Linda. And fucking smack him. How? B- Hate me by Blue October. I cannot sing that song anymore. Why? Because now the words have meaning. <laughs> I can't sing it anymore. Shit. But the artists sing it 
because and it's the their thing, life. But the artist that so if you guys don't know that song, "Hate Me" by Blue October, look it up. Um, I love the that artist song. actually wrote. It's a real story. It is not a made up thing. This is a real story that happened to the and artist. He, and he uses hidden messages. He oh, and all of his songs he uses fucking hidden med- messages. But it there's fucking hits song, you. There's another song that he does that at first my dad heard it and he was like, but I don't understand what this part, what this is saying. Uh, the one that Nick cried to. <laughs> that song. Every time I hear it, I fucking sob. Yeah, today's hip hop is trash. Can't compare to '90s. Exactly. That yeah. was my point. Today's yeah. rap is not like rap back in the day. Depending because the same you- song in the '90s, the same song. When I listen to it, my daughter listens to it, and Aaron listens to it, right? The same song. I'll have an interpretation of it, so I write it down. This is what I think the song said. Yeah. Linda will write the same thing down. Aaron, same thing. This is my interpretation of the song. Yeah. Our interpretation will be different. Yeah. Rap today, the guy telling you how the day went. Or 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 how big, fat the booty is on his girl. Or, this or how, you know what point. I mean? Like, Okay, this, yes, that was your point, but my point was that you're wrong about today's day and age because you're only listening to the rappers Whatever, yeah. that say that. I that was what see, I'm saying. Because, I now see your point. Because yeah. the smaller rappers that he listens to... Sing from the heart, but they're not getting airtime. the heart. Like Logic, for example. Yeah. I love Logic, but he, like, his song Gang Related is so fucking good. Okay, then you're going to have to give me five songs that you like, five different artists. And I will look into them. Got it. So if you Easy. guys listen to Blue October, Hate Me, okay? that's The name of the song is Hate Me. Sorry, I said that backwards. That song is one that, like, I used to play it on the guitar. Me and my dad used to listen to it all the time. I used to sing it. We would jam it with my cousins. Like, it's a good song. It is, no, sorry, not was. It is a very good song. But now I can, now that song has emotional meaning to me. This guy makes me laugh. I cannot. <laughs> Maniac says, I like big butts. How does this song make you feel? <laughs> Horny. <laughs> M- Mrs. Sawyer says, even that song has meaning. <laughs> yeah. But again, my interpretation of the song and your interpretation of the song might be different. Okay, so how does that song make you feel? <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Hey, two it made you horny. Made two happy. Two H words. It's gonna make Linda horrified. <laughs> accurate, accurate. Is that all you care about, big butts? What about my brain? What about my brain? <laughs> Holy fuck. What about okay. my aspirations? Okay, entitlement. Okay, entitlement. Relax. Relax. So it makes me happy, horny, <laughs> horrified, <off>. horrified. <laughs> I get really attached to songs by the lyrics. Yes, if you really listen to lyrics, there's another song by Blue October. Um, yes, the music behind the words helps. It helps create a picture. It helps paint the picture, right? But the words themselves, like Blue October hides hidden messages and the things that they're trying to say. It's fucking like... And then once you understand what it was trying to say... Okay, here's an example. Woo! I agree with you. The song Hate Me. Translate it and try to sing it. What do you mean translate? Like what it actually break meant. Break down the hidden message. It won't, it won't make sense. Like, it won't fucking make sense. It won't, it'll make sense because you're- That's a lyricist. It won't make sense because- like, It'll make sense because you're breaking down what happened to him, but it won't rhyme. It won't go to the beat. Nothing. He had to manipulate the story to still tell his story. Yeah. Without saying word for word, like, I was traumatized by- uh, lose because the song is about his mom, right? So I was traumatized by seeing my mother deteriorate while watching me deteriorate, right? But instead, he instead one of the one of the lyrics is um, playing movies in my bed that make a porno feel like home. You wouldn't think that that's what he's trying to say in his words, but that's what you know what I'm trying to say. He doesn't just come out and say I was walking down the street in my six full whatever the fucking song is. <laughs> What? I'm like completely like not paying attention to shit. It's all good. Okay, Papa Pimp. I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna write a this good down. story song is called Bloody Canvas by Polo G. Do I know that song? I Bloody. don't even know that song. Uh, you know what? Listen listen, we'll, listen, we'll listen to it right now. How's that? We'll judge it right now. This is a this is a ju- where's Jonathan when you need him? Oh, this is a good song. And what's oh, this song about? I, I want to drive. And what's this song about? Driving a car. This is, where I, this is where I start doing up my Honda Civic in the game. You're it's completely out of it. Yes! Need for, need for Speed Underground 2. Look, 
You need to move back over. Oh, <laughs> shit! Best stories told, Slick Rick. Children's story, paid in... Oh, my God. Those are the standard. Oh, my God. Okay, we're getting a lot of recommendations. We're uh, going to start... Okay, Bloody Canvas. Write down Bloody, bloody Canvas first. Bloody. We have jobs here now. Well, this is a very interactive stream. Thank yep. you very much, guys. Love it. Love it, guys. Love it. Love okay, it. Okay, we're judging this song first. Uh, best stories told, uh, Slick Rick. Slick Rick. Love I them. love Slick Rick. Love them. I loved his fucking chains, man. I, I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of Polo G, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big fan of Polo G, to be honest. To be honest with you, <laughs> I'm being honest with you, you know, so i got to just be honest <laughs> with you. Okay, uh, hold on. Hold on. Does canvas? Uh, Polo G. Beat so far is good. Uh, this beat is rumors. Rumors by who? Look up, look up rumors. Hold on, write it down. Um, I'm hello. listening to the lyrics. Cream Wu Tang Clan. That sounds like nice. a very inappropriate video. Cream by Wu Tang Clan. It's not. It sounds like an inappropriate video. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to the music, not watching it. How do you watch music? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to listen to these lyrics. Hold on. There you go. Five different songs by five different artists. Give me a moment. Story. <sighs> Next. It's like you knew we needed a notepad today. How did I know that? That's fucking creepy, eh? I got this thing inside of me, man. No, nah, you know what it is? You guys are paid actors. My life is a fucking TV show. <laughs> This is the there, Truman Show. There's, there's a sentence right there for a fucking song. This is the Truman Show. That's Final, for a song. Final recommendation, Omeng Dulim. Oh, what? Oh, Shuji Fuji Pesh. What did you just say? Shuji Fuji Pesh. Yeah, Shuji Fuji Pesh. Shuji and Ladders. Oh, what's the name of the song? I think I know. I have this song. Okay. What are we playing right now? Like, are we going to do everybody's suggestions? Yeah, that's, we're going in order. Oh, okay. I will say the beat itself, the song, I, I, like, I, I like how this sounds. What's the next song? You know who would have a good take into this conversation is literally Jonathan because my some of my cousin's music is about stuff that happened to him. Okay. <coughs> what's the Not next song? all of them. <laughs> Not all of them. Like what's it? What's that song? I'm super fly. I can't lie. I can make it rain in any desert dry. Okay, but that song <laughs> is just fuck. <laughs> it's rough, man. <laughs> But okay, is that, but is that Jonathan's song? That's Jonathan. Yeah. yeah. Then we gotta play it in the background. Okay, but okay, okay this is. Wanna, but I don't this know is, if he has his stuff on Spotify. But that's the example of just making songs that sell, versus making songs that make sense and tell stories and shit. Because he has a song called "Mama Collect." Love the fucking song. Who does? Jonathan. I'll play it on my phone right now. Well, I, not, I didn't hear any on. of these songs. I don't. I don't know any of these songs. His song "Mama Collect" is really good. I'm Time in prison when it. I was common "Mama Hold Collect." On. My head was spinning like the barrel in Russian roulette. They, they told uh they said I'm crazy for everything they know I did. I'm trying to do it big. Lord forgive me for my sins. Crack on the block. I, uh, hey guys, that was that yeah, was what it relax, was. Yeah, relax, Aaron. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. So find his thing and then give him a shout out so they can listen to uh, Jonathan. So I didn't even know I didn't even know Jonathan had these songs out. Yeah. Does he have it on um on SoundCloud? He has it on SoundCloud. I don't think about YouTube though. No, the Superfly video is on YouTube. Yes, but I'm talking about the songs that I was just mentioning. Okay, so I'll play the one from I'll play Superfly first. Ah, oh, you're embarrassing him. I listen. It's catchy. It's not about anything important, though. That him? This yeah, is him. that's him. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's him. Years ago. Okay, hold Holy on. Holy shit! Let me 2011. Sure. <laughs> Fuck. 
Let me make sure it's, it's love you, coming man. through on here. <laughs> love you, man. Okay, so this is my cousin. I'm going to put the link in the chat for you guys. This is sure, my cousin. I'm pretty sure he's not going to sue us if we play it on the, on, the, on the thing. This is my cousin. Message him quick. This is my cousin. You okay, guys can go show him. some love. We're playing your song. I'm going to tell him. We're playing your song on YouTube. <clears throat> on uh, on stream. I have a lot of his songs on my So this is my playlist. cousin. He does have a SoundCloud, too. I'll try and get that in a second from Aaron. Um, but I'm going to play this song first because it's on YouTube. So I'm going to play it for you guys. This song is not one that, like, has, like, you know, that... Any value to it. <laughs> no, but it's catchy. That's, like, today's stuff, right? It's, a it's catchy. Song. That's what we're trying to talk Type about. It's catchy, yeah. right? Radio shit. Okay, ready? Do you, you don't know this song? I think I know this song. Okay, yeah, you here have we go. to. You here we go. To. Isn't it funny how the next song is Vanilla Ice? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Recommended after this one. And fucking Tupac. <laughs> yeah, and Tupac, eh? Actually, no. Miss Monique is right after. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, ready? Here we go. So they can hear this. Yes. He made the beat. He wrote the lyrics. Really bossed up. <laughs> Participating. It's a doggy dog world I'm marking territory. You can really tell how much he's evolved. Yeah. As an artist. For all these dollar signs. I really, you know what? I'm enjoying watching this. I can make it rain in any desert dry. I get stupid high. Because then you listen to songs like Bang Bang. Try. I like, thrive for all these dollar signs. So, like, I'm telling you, like, you gotta listen to, you gotta listen to his music, man. Uh, <laughs> ice ice <laughs> his uh everybody Let me go to soundcloud everybody his uh his user on soundcloud I'm gonna, I'm gonna is choppins in the flesh i'm gonna link it okay i'm just saying it now for the people who watch you the youtube video after it's choppins in the <laughs> flesh like seriously check it out there's some good shit um personally i really like nightmares hustle and uh bang bang and mama collect i didn't know and Mama Collect. I'm gonna Honestly, a straight shooter. <laughs> there's only a couple of songs genuinely that I don't I have on rotation high. right I now. I don't even try. But most of his songs I keep in my I rotation. Got a money drive. Like I got like if they play out, like if they play when I'm in the car or anything like that, I don't even skip them. How just because old I genuinely is like shooter? them. We are under a year old. Do you think they'll let us? Fuck, <laughs> we're underage. <laughs> I'm gonna put we're 99 years old. Oh, 48. 99. 69. Yeah. 69. Nice. Fuck, but then it just gets older and older. Every year I'm going to update the age to 69. Yeah. <laughs> Enter your gender. Yeah. Prefer not to say. Fucking shit. You're not a robot. Oh. <laughs> and you're not of age. <laughs> and you are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I have a SoundCloud account, by the way. Choppins and Duff. Uh, Flesh, homeboy. Yeah, right there. Bang, bang. Okay, right I'm gonna there. copy the link and I'm gonna send it your way, home yeah. slice. It's good shit right here. I yeah, just good text, text him, say I got a money stuff. drive. I thrive for all these dollar signs. And then in brackets, put oh. ching. What, 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 what? I got a money drive. I got a, I got a money drive. Mm-hmm. I thrive for all these dollar signs. Or no, you have to put like fucking, dollar signs. Fucking 
Drive. I gotta turn that option off. I thrive. For all these dollar signs. No, but dollar. Dollar. For all these dollars signs. <laughs> I'm thriving for all these dollars. <laughs> Dad wrote sing. <laughs> I thrive. <laughs> I'm thrive for all the dollars sing. <laughs> <laughs> I got a money drive. I thrive for all these dollars signs. He's going to message you back and be like, Tati, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to want to watch this episode. Yeah. He's yeah. going to want to watch this episode. Big yeah. up to me, man, Jonathan. Okay. Yeah, Jonathan. Hey, JJ. Yeah, big up to me, man, Jonathan, a.k.a. Choppins, Pandy Flesh. Everybody go lip sync to him on the SoundCloud. Everybody big up <laughs> my man right there. What the fuck? <laughs> you go listen to Pandy's music. <laughs> you go move your body. No, you need that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what you need. That's what you need. Yeah, boy. I gotta, you okay, I'm which get, song are we listening to? I'm going to get one of those listen soundboards. To, listen to um, Mama Collect. Do? Listen to Mama Collect. All right, guys. Listen to this one. I'm pretty sure it's down more. Is this yeah. all his shit? All of his yeah. shit, yep. Keep going down. That's all his songs? Yep. Keep Get going the fuck down. out of keep here. Keep going down. It's close. It's close. Just keep going down. It's close. Can right you there. remove it? It's Mama right Collect. No, it's right there. It's right there. This is, Aaron, this is Aaron's suggestion. It's this is fucking my good, man. This is still my cousin, though. This is all new to me. Talk shit about him. I dare you. I'm telling you. Now listen to Bang Bang. Wait, this is not done. It is done. It is done. Listen to Bang Bang. It's done, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Listen to Bang Bang. It's all the way at the top. What? It's like all the way. Well, it's like all the way at the no, top. No, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. That, like, right there. Oh, let's go. Get out. What? Two, let's go. <laughs> Toyota's got to give him a car now, man. Yeah. We giving you those ads. This song is one of my favorite songs, by the way. Wow, Love we getting it. a high Whoa! You sending us a Highlander? Not sponsored. Oh, this gotta be the last one. We're gonna call it. <laughs> Wrong pipe. I got me a brand new sales in this digi so dusty. I'ma need a brand new skill. I was trapping, rapping. I was working, flexing, working, working. So much work in text. Man, the man is just like a marathon. Skirt, skirt, when I pull out in bars. (laughs) 
This is what I mean by you can tell how much he's evolved. Like I, so, I, I personally think these go hard. When, when was his last upload? Fucking while ago. Long time. So why is he not doing this? Three years ago. I, he just makes music and then doesn't post it anywhere, I guess. I don't know. Because these I ones are all older. This one's five years ago. <clears throat> so like, I just got to say, right now he's at 47 followers. You just got 48. Everyone who has a SoundCloud, go send some love. Yeah, everybody chopping's and, and, uh, and his and what's flesh. his what's his what's his Choppins uh, into flesh, but I put a link in the chat already. Choppins uh, yeah, Choppins in the flesh. flesh. So that's his handle? <coughs> yeah, that's his and handle. Where? The flesh. Choppins no. into flesh. Where? SoundCloud? SoundCloud. Everywhere. Well everywhere, everywhere. That's what he goes by. Fuck, I didn't know. I knew about the one song. The, the, the first one you saw, I, I remember Fly. that one. Yeah, yeah, I remember Superfly. I've been listening. To, I've been listening to his music for a while. Fuck, man. I've had it in my look. Look so at we all, we all know what I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna go to my car, drive home. Listen, <laughs> listen to his shit. We I, we have to play look, it in the background. Look though. Look. Okay. So I have. Hold on. How many songs do I have? Uh, I don't know how to check how many songs I have. Oh, I have 961 tracks. Okay. So I got. And these are all. Um, what is it? Chronological. This is chronological. So this is the song that I added most recently, and then second, whatever, so on and so forth. Look at how fucking far down his songs are. What What does that mean? Meaning that, like, that that's how long I've... I didn't realize... Like, I completely forgot about it, but that's how long I've had these songs, and I can't believe you guys didn't even know about these. I'm pretty sure... Oh, so it remembers no, I knew, the order that you put it in. I knew yeah. how... Oh, oh. I knew he yeah. had his SoundCloud. I knew that. Like, this is almost at the beginning of when I got my SoundCloud. Yeah, I knew he had SoundCloud. No, All I right. just, I just, but like, so I, we did, we did two plugs today, and I'm not getting paid for this shit. No, Emma. I just figured that. Uh, I, figured, I, I honestly thought you guys would have known about his Ayo. music. Ayo, like, Ayo, I forgot. I forgot. Ayo, Ricardo, Ricardo, e, e, e Jonathan. I would like to <laughs> Jonathan. Uh, pay up. I would like to uh, exactly. I would like to say <laughs> thank you. Maybe ask Mrs. Sawyer. Uh, Twix. Storm, Twix. Twix. You know what? Thank you to everybody. Ricardo, Not even for the music suggestions, just for everyone. showing up. Is we appreciate Hobson you guys. Is still a thing? If this episode was mixed with one I missed... Hobson is still a thing. I would have and suggested... And I still listen to Ill, Hobson. I would have suggested Ill Mind of Hobson 7. Yes. Listen to that one. Ill? Whiskey! What's going on, homie? Whiskey. Whiskey's here. Whiskey's here. What's going on? What's up? What's up? We're leaving now, dude. <laughs> it's Bruh. okay. It's okay. You just Bruh, you missed a good episode. This yeah, is a good bruh. episode, but the good thing is it goes up on YouTube, motherfucker. You did miss yeah, it. Yeah, Mr. Potter, what? We are about to go. But it's okay. Sorry, man. It's okay because we were technically late today and we didn't. Yeah, yeah it, it's okay. Next week. Next week. Actually. So, yeah, if we started normal time, you would have missed it completely. <laughs> yeah, we weren't. We weren't. We you, were at least got okay. to wait, you at least got to wait. Bye. It's okay, Whiskey. It's okay. We weren't late. We actually canceled today's podcast. We're just extremely early for next week's podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Take it with the grain of salt, guys. What's the, what's, the, what's the song that he suggested? Uh, Hobson. It's right there. Uh, Ill Mind of Hobson 7. Ill Mind? Listen to that one back in the a lot back in the day. Song that questions God, by the way. Most of the Ill Minds are good. Hobson. I think all of the Ill Minds I'm getting dyslexic. Good. Honestly, Hobson is one of those rappers that I think is really like underrated. The Nobody talks about Hobson. Idea. So I'm gonna stream um, Gatekeeper. Splitgate. Yeah. Are you gonna play? Fucking Gatekeeper. Yeah, I need I need to re-download it. Okay. So it's gonna take I am me, like, gonna play Gatekeeper. Splitgate. <laughs> and I'll be playing these songs in my stream. So I'll be streaming. Or play. Better, 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 better. Or play Jonathan's. Did you get my text, Dad? Or play Jonathan. You said you said five songs by five different artists. They're yes. there. They're there. Okay. Woo! They're there. Mr. Sonia, are you going to play Splitgate too? Or sorry, gl- Gate Split Gatekeeper? Gatekeeper, Linda. Get it right. Oh, Mr. Sawyer, link your Twitch. <laughs> oh, you're the best. Uh, man, this is so nice. Of Everybody you. go big up me, man, Blizz, a 74 upon the Twitch <laughs> app. Everybody go listen and watch his <laughs> stream. It's a Rastafarian, so it's Spliff, 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 Spliff. <laughs> <laughs> Be God, there God, or God, be God. square. Be there and follow our ban. Okay, I now have to order a sound pad with like a hundred buttons on it. No, sound. just <laughs> fix those ones. They're not broken. They're not broken. They're not broken. Linda, they're not broken. Just update those ones. They're not old. Fuck, I gotta watch that yes. guy too. Fuck, man, I know, yes. right? The guy fucking disappears for a year, and then it's being demanding. Like, come watch my stream. I stream every day now. Yeah, meanwhile, people were asking about him every fucking stream. I love you guys. 
You guys are love. Listen, that shows love. I no, love you guys. that shows love. The fact that he said it because he doesn't say it. So take that as a a, a moment. Let's you know what? In. You know what? Fuck you guys. That's my, that's a, that, that's a mic drop. Boom. No, <laughs> fuck, fuck you guys. Fuck all you guys because he doesn't even say shit to us. I know. You know the last time he touched me. <laughs> whip, whip, whip. Like okay, even that's just. A lawsuit. Oh shit. <laughs> You know, I like that. Stop it. Stop it. No, but, but even like just like, good even job, just like, son. not even good job. Fuck that. Just be like. Hey, I told you he complimented you yesterday. You didn't continue with okay, that. Okay, so what, what happened yesterday is. We and were, we'll end on that. We were on, we were Goodbye. on a call. We, no, we were on a, <laughs> we were on a, it never happened. There's no proof. Just like my shit I took just earlier. Just like this shit. Yeah. There's no proof. So yesterday we were on a call with Jonathan. Sorry, what? Well, technical difficulties. Oh. We were on a call with Jonathan, and um, he was saying like, <laughs> he was ding, saying ding, to the ding, music, ding, right? Ding, like ding. talking about music and whatever, making music. And then I was like, oh, so Aaron already lost his job as a tech guy. He just got promoted, and he's already losing his job. What? Because he was telling Jonathan like to make music and stuff. Oh, right? got you. So I'm like, oh, Aaron just got promoted to tech guy, and now he's already being fired. And Aaron goes, uh, Dad goes, no, Aaron's the comedian. I'm like. You usually say you're the comedian, and he goes, "Aaron's funny." <laughs> no, the fu- no, you did. Yeah, he did. No, he's gonna didn't. cry. He's gonna yeah. cry. He's gonna go on stream. Okay, yeah. you gotta get this as a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> so now the problem is, if you if he was actually being funny, trying to be funny to try to get something out of me, now that he knows that it's there, he might lose his comedianship. I know he might. You got now. You gotta watch. It's out. not a word. Now comedianship. You, it is now. At least now, I'm God. I can create words. Oh my God. At least you're not a comedian. <laughs> Whiskey says, "Oh, that's cute." He actually complimented Aaron. I can't, that dude. I can't believe it. <laughs> the way he said I'm it too. Write, I cannot. I'm gonna write a heartfelt it. letter. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I love you. This and is we'll the best it, present we'll you could have given me. Yeah, we'll have the text like, <laughs> up. like credits. <laughs> Like 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 Star Wars. No, like credits. Write it, and I'm gonna put it at the end of this episode. Dad, I love you. You're the best. Thank you for everything, especially the compliment that you gave me. I know I'm funny, but I needed you to tell me. <laughs> now I know I'm funny. Complete. It only matters if if I didn't get... know I was funny until you told me. Literally. This is new to me. <laughs> Whiskey <laughs> says, "Dad, you're the greatest." <laughs> oh shit! With the, with the W though, with right? The greatest. Yeah, it's greatest. <laughs> Hey, Dad, you're pretty great. <laughs> hey, Winda, you're pretty fantastic. <laughs> All right, guys. My God. <laughs> we are going to call it here. You guys are awesome. Thank uh, you, guys. Great, great discussion. I, I love today's episode. It was fucking awesome. These are getting better. I right like it, how you guys interact and, and push our Even though Aaron and I got a little heated at one yeah. point. Yeah. Fucking shut up. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really good. Really fucked up. So I'll check out these songs. And I'll Discord, put a playlist Discord, together. Discord, Discord, and Linktree. And shout out to Jonathan, Ricardo. I'm gonna taste your food, Over at dude. Over Saint Matthew Churrasqueira and yep. Grill, or sorry, Churrasqueira and Grill. Yeah, we're all gonna taste your meat, bro. Oh. You are. <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden, no one's going there. What do you think pays for the food, man? Fuck <laughs> this. So, okay, guys, thank you so much, Maviacs, everyone. You guys are all, yeah. I gotta get real good here. <laughs> Just fucking shooting the camera. Why oh, can hang up a gun across the top of How do you like that idea? I like it on the deal. Huh? I like it on the deal.